In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Grafana to Azure Log Analytics. Hello and welcome to Seraltos. My name is Travis Roberts. The OMS portal for log analytics will be depreciated soon along with the mobile app. The functionality of the portal has been moved to Azure. This is fine for people who use Azure frequently, but it's a little cumbersome for others to access. For example, upper management who may want to monitor key metrics or the service desk watching out for issues. As for the mobile client, there, there is no replacement for that. Before I go any further, I want to thank you for watching and ask you to subscribe. Even better, click the little bell icon next to the subscribe to get notifications when the next part of the series comes out. With the OMS portal being depreciated, I started to look for alternatives. Power BI is an option, but there's licensing requirements for that. Grafana caught my eye as an alternative. For those of you who don't know, Grafana is an open source data visualization and monitoring platform that runs on Windows, Linux, ARM, and there's also a Docker container available. When I saw that there was a data connector for Azure Monitor, I thought I'd give it a try. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Grafana to Log Analytics. There's a couple requirements the video won't cover. You need a Log Analytics workspace collecting data. If you don't have that, check out my playlist to get started. I'll put the link someplace up here. If you need help installing that, check out the Grafana docs or your favorite search engine. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started with the demos. Okay, buckle up, it's time for demos. So here I am at my Grafana server and I'm going to install the Azure Monitor data source plugin. So I do that with the Grafana command line interface by simply typing a command. So I'm running this command as admin, uh, Grafana, CLI, plugins install, and then that's Grafana Azure Monitor Data Source. And it's going to ask me for my admin password. And it's installed, but it is asking me to restart the service. So I'm going to go... I'll issue a stop and a start command. I probably could have done restart, restart as well, but this is what I did. So that's it. Now that that's done, let's hop over to the web interface and take a look at the plugin. Now that the data source is installed, you can see it down here as an installed data source. And if we go to add data sources, you can see it right on the list. So we're going to select Azure Monitor and we're going to configure this data source. So I'm going to go down to Log Analytics API Details. And I need the subscription ID and tenant ID. So to get that, I'm going to hop over to my Azure portal and click on this to bring up cl the cloud shell. I need two pieces of information. I need the uh, subscription and tenant ID. Within PowerShell, I can run get Azure RM context and select the subscription and tenant. And there we go with my subscription and tenant ID. So I'm just going to copy this over. And I'll do the same for the tenant. All right, I'll come back here and we'll close that out. Now the next step is to create a security principle. A security principle is uh, kind of like a user or actually users have user principles, security uh, has security principles. This is what Grafana is gonna use uh, to access the API. So to do that, I'm gonna go into Azure Active Directory and we'll find app registrations and new application registration. And for this, I'm just gonna call it Grafana. I'm going to leave it as Web App API, and I'm going to enter in the URL, uh, the login for the local host. And I'll hit Create once that's done. There we go. This is going to take me back to the Grafana app registration. Now I need the application ID, which is the client ID. 
and then we're going to come back and the next thing I need is to get a client secret. We also have to give permission to this application to access log analytics. So now that I have the application or the client ID, I'm going to go to settings, required permission. I'm going to add, select an API. Now you can't see log analytics in here, but if you search for it, it shows up. So I'm going to select that and hit select. And then under permissions, I'm going to give it delegate permissions uh, to read log analytics data as a user. Click select and done. And you do have to click this grant permission button before it's finished. So now that the API has permission to read log analytics as a user, now we have to give it a role to actually be able to read the log analytic workspace. And we're going to do that by going to subscriptions. And I'll select my subscription. We'll go to access control and add a role assignment. For the role, I'm going to do log analytics reader. It's going to be an Azure AD user group or service principle, and I'm going to type in Grafana. And it's this one. And then save. Now the application has permissions into log analytics. So the security principle has to have rights to read through the API and also has to have permission to access. So I'm going to go back to Azure Active Directory and app registration and I'll switch this to all apps and we should see Grafana in the list. If not, search for it. Um, sometimes they don't show up on the list. And then I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to go to key and I'll type in a description. Call that Grafana dashboard and the duration will be never expires. Now when I hit save, I'm going to get this key. You will need to copy that and save it someplace safe. Once I exit out of here, I will not be able to come back and retrieve this key. I'll have to create a new one. This is a one-time thing. So now that I have that, I'm going to go back to Grafana Home. And that is the client secret. Now if I test and save, that's it. I've successfully uh, queried the log analytics service. So that's all there is to it. That's how you add the Azure Monitor uh, data source plugin to Grafana and then configure it to query data from Log Analytics. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have another video coming up on how to create a dashboard. Thanks for watching.